What up, what up, what up? Double M's, it's your boy Keys. And it's your girl Mandy. Ow, ow. And we back. With another video, video, video. Yeah. And like we said, we're going to do some oysters and we got a little snow crab there too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to get into this little baby. Blessing session. Let's do it. Most loving and gracious Father, thank you for all your many blessings. Thank you for our friends and loved ones that came in to join us. Add a blessing unto them. Add a blessing unto this food for the nourishment of our body. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. You guys, we got these oysters from New Orleans Kitchen, um, an yeah. oyster bar yeah. here in the New Orlando, Orleans, Florida area. Little. Yeah, mm -hmm. little little New Orleans kitchen and oyster bar. Yeah. Okay, so nice enough. Very family nice. Family oriented. Hubby, hubby had a couple of shots while he was in there while I'm in the car waiting. Yeah, the owner, the owner. Oh my God, why did you order all of this? What, you having a party? No, me and my wife do YouTube. Oh, my son do YouTube. Oh my God. His son lives in California. Has over a million subscribers, and he does um, mukbangs as well. So. So he subscribed to our channel. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. We appreciate Shout out the to the to the family that I was talking to right next to me. Um, Y'all know who I'm talking about. Get to it. <laughs> uh, the daughter subscribed to the channel, so shout thank out you. to you, uh, sweetie, for uh, subscribing to the channel. And then his daughter plays overseas in Greece. Wow. Um, dang, what's his daughter's name? I can't what, forget. What, what kind of sport does she play? She plays basketball, basketball. overseas. Okay. Uh, for Greece, and uh, he showed me everything. So shout out uh, to her. Shout out to the baby girl for subscribing to the channel, and shout out to the owner of Little New Orleans uh, Kitchen or, and Oyster Bar. Yes, sir. And shout out to my Electra wine because y'all miss my favorite wine. And every time I go down to get this bottle of wine. Water Park is ridiculously packed, but it's my favorite, and this is why I like to get it, because I like ordering wine. I like to go get my wine. Hey, I let your wine, y'all. Y'all know I'm going to dress my oysters up. I'm just trying to get me some crackers out of these packets. They give you a pack of crackers. I like the way Rick give you the whole, you know, sleeve, but yeah. the Lex crackers are good, but come in these little packs. Uh, thank and you, I like man. I like saltine crackers for my oysters. Oh, I man. can't do I'm my Ritz. The, the Ritz crackers. I'm, I'm gonna say you some of these too. Mm, uh, I eat them from right from the shelf. Mm, you have to. I see enough to eat my oysters with you. You have to cut some packets though. Oh, uh, I I use Ritz crack crack and calls crackers and crackers to me. Mm mm. Not really. And, and it really ain't. If you say that in the oyster bar, them people gonna go crazy. <laughs> Cause uh. Uh, uh, darn cracker is not just a cracker. It got to be saltine. Got to put some lemon pepper on that thing. And, and I definitely want me some Old Bay. I got Old some Bay. of that, that tiger sauce again with some garlic powder. I bet y'all say y'all doing too much with these oysters now. Doing way too much, I know, but I gotta do it for y'all. Mm, they good too. Oh, this garlic kind of ain't been open yet. It's a new one. I forgot we had ran out. When you do seafood boils, y'all, you run out of garlic powder quite fast. We gonna keep the ball rolling. It smells so good. But I'm gonna go get more crackers. Yeah, he gonna get some rich crackers. He know I like these. I gotta have these lamps in my life, honey. And this Christmas hot sauce. Mmm, look at that hot sauce. Uh, look at it, y'all. Look at it. Look at that oyster. I'm going to put a jalapeno right on top. Look at that. Mmm, 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 and I be craving them a whole lot more now. What am I going through, y'all? What am I going through? All right, got a sleeve, y'all. Mm. 
I didn't spring a season all of my oysters because I'm ready to get it in. <laughs> I'm ready. Hot sauce jalapeno on top. Here you go. Here you go. Mmm, it's so good, baby. Mm hmm. Yeah, we're gonna put some seasoning on my stuff. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Get on in there. Mm hmm. Yeah, let me pepper all up in there. Like garlic. Mm hmm. So good, y'all. In that old day. Y'all eat some good eats. You care what nobody say. Good eats. Love me a good oyster. Mm -hmm. Some people don't like oysters. But I absolutely love them. And y'all heard us in our live today talking about we want these oysters. And we finally got them. Mm. We almost got delayed, y'all. Mm-hmm. We'd have had to wait till tomorrow. Yeah, to get these oysters. So we went to the place we normally go and they didn't have to go containers. Tell my they can put them in a bucket and we can take them home and shuck them. I ain't going home to shuck no oysters. I'm trying to go home and eat. Mm -mm. But luckily, Little New Orleans Kitchen was able to provide us what we needed. Oh, the pepper on it's so good in that garlic powder we go. Baby. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. So good. I know we keep saying the same thing, but I'm sorry, y'all. Mm. It's good. Is it good to you? I like it. Mmm, mmm. So good to me. And I'm putting the jalapenos on there mm -hmm. with that heat and that hot sauce. Mm. You need any seasonings, my mm -hmm. darling? Yeah, y'all. Oh, yeah, all the seasonings over there. Right here in the middle. Oh, we got parsley in the sesame mm -hmm. over here. So, first, y'all, because all this stuff, it's too much going on. You got Cardi B, everybody coming out for her. For um, claiming that her. she um drug me in and all robbed that, them. All that stuff. And, and that stuff went on back in the day. Mm -hmm. I, I, I know a couple of people that did that. Mm. Even... A ball MJG talk about that in one of their in they raps. Robbery. You know, what women used to set dudes up. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, whether it be at a club, at a um while you on a date or while you at a concert, while you in any of those things. They they set you up, already have some dudes in place. But don't you kind of get why some of the dudes are mad? Because they like, if it was a man, they be doing him like Bill Cosby, ready to send him away. And because she a woman, they dismissing it. Like, why you, why, uh, why you let a woman do you like that? Mm-hmm. Mm. You know, men get sexually abused too. Or, and it's not right to downplay it. Uh, a man trying to block a woman from hitting on him and he don't want to hit her and she chasing him and he want to press charges and police get there and be laughing. Mm -hmm. Well, he ended up being the, um, he ended up turning turn into the perpetrator based on police perception of things. Yep. Crazy. We live in some sad times, y'all. You know, today I was shocked when I learned that 
Nipsey Hussle and two other people had been shot in front of his store. And I was really hoping that this story wasn't true. Because I'm like, I kept reading that there was an unknown man that was, that you know, that died on the scene. Then I kept reading that somebody else was injured. So I'm like, oh, you know, maybe he wasn't at his store, you know, things like that. Because, you know, celebrities have a lot of businesses don't mean they're there. And then you, you get the, the, and some out there you know mm -hmm. that don't be faking about their life. Mm -mm. Life be real, man. They be, they be actually out there doing little real life stuff. And he already had posted on Twitter. What did he post on Twitter? Let's see, y'all. And this is what makes this so scary. And really should make you think about your life. And the words you say and speak. Yeah, cuz. Words is life. Mm -hmm. And I don't think sometimes we realize how powerful words are. Having strong enemies is a blessing. And Nixie Hustle was so inspiring. He was about he was about bringing change to the rap game. You talking about people that from been producers for a long time, mm -hmm. but now coming out being rappers. Right. But his message was so powerful, you know? And then you see his life gone like this. You know, I can't think of that song that Tupac had on his Machiavelli album. But in that song, Tupac said, we wonder why we don't love ourselves. It's off the Machiavelli album. Who knows what tomorrow brings? If y'all know what song I'm talking in about. In this crazy world. In this crazy world. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And it's so real. And you know, when I was reading the news, because I was on YouTube, when hubby was going inside to pick up the oysters, I was watching YouTube, you know, you know, the post and everything in the timeline, on, my, on our timeline. Excuse me, guys. Got some complete seasoning. Let me get some of that too when you're done. And on the timeline, I seen Hot 97 posts that he had passed away. And that thing just shook me. I'm telling you, shook me. You know, because I went to the Meat Mill concert. And Meat Mill talked about, in one of his songs, how... A black woman sending him upstate almost made him hate his people. And he talked about the self-hate that we have with each other. And we have for ourselves. Basically, the self-hate that we have for ourselves. And the hate we have for each other. He talked about that even in his um, Breakfast Club interview. I'm looking at it like we talk about it all the time. Like self-hate. Do, do more for our community. But then it's the same yeah. people that that put you in the hole. It's the same people that's that look like you. That's self-hate. Man, self-hate. Ain't nobody bothering these police officers who, you know, kill black men senselessly, you know? Nobody bothering them. And I just think it's sad that we, as a people, do this to our own. I think it's so sad that we do this kind of foolishness. I'm like the game now. I'm disappointed in LA too. How y'all let this happen? No, that's right, gang. You can't live out your life in, in this city no more, he said on Instagram. You know, it's just real. Real. It's real and it's hurtful, y'all. Very hurtful. You know, and that's why even when my husband go places or... He said he'd be right back. I'm always praying for my husband and praying that he come back safe, you know? Because sometimes, you know, people be taking taking things to the extreme, you know, especially because Keys work, work out in the gym. You know, he look a certain way sometimes, the dudes. And it's the, it's only their perception. We're going to get into that, too. It's their perception yeah. of him. Not his, and not, not how he's behaving or acting. He acting like no macho man. He just coming in, doing, taking care of business and doing whatever he do. But because he look a certain way to them, they think they got to act like they hard or they got to toughen up on the scene. It's like, come on, bro. Why is that to be like that? Why? Yeah. Why the way I look or 
just me walking in the room make you feel some type of way. Now you gotta buff up like you gotta be on go if, if, if I move a certain way, if I say something. It ain't even like that. We gotta do better as a people, y'all. I'm to my every every race. We all gotta do better. This is sad. Really sad. That's why you got to be on point about insecurity. Insecurities can make you lose your life mm -hmm. or take somebody else's life. Yeah. Being insecure. You need to be secure about who you are as a person. Or who you who you with. Yeah, who you with, yeah. You need to know them and know that they love you and that they can handle their own when they're around you and when they're not around you. That's right. I don't need to say nothing if somebody come up to her and say something to her because I know she's going to say the right thing. Sure is. And they need to respect you. The only time I need to come around is things going to escalate. At the Meat Bill concert, a guy brushed past my hip and was like, excuse me, baby. And I'm like, uh-uh, don't do that. I said, don't do that. You know? And my husband was finna, you know, reach out and let him know, hey, that's my wife. Don't do not do it like that. Well, he did. He did reach out. <laughs> Yeah, he did reach out. Reach out and touch somebody's hand. Yeah, you, you can go on down that Make way. Make this world a better place. <laughs> if you can. Go down that way with that boy and cry. I had to tell my baby, I said, uh uh. We are not doing this at the Meat Mill concert. <laughs> we good, babe. We good. Because we know who we are. And I'm, I'm in my Michelle, my Michelle Obama voice now. When they go low, we go high. We we got to at this point because you can lose your life over some stupid stuff. You know what I'm saying? Or you can end up going to prison, taking somebody's life over something. You know, so crazy. So you just have to. We just know next time when we do a general admission. So sometimes when you get in situations like that, you just know the next time. Remember a while back for all our um, day ones, y'all know from my videos, we went to the movies one time. And there was a couple sitting in our assigned seats. Because you know, when they have the recliner seats and the leather seats in the movie theaters now, they let you pick your seats. And we always buy our tickets before we go to the movies. That's always been our thing. It always be the young people, it though. Be the young young people. folk. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. Get yourself together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, we ended up not even seeing the movie. Even though we bought tickets, we ended up getting a full refund and getting free tickets to the movies to go on a later date we wanted to go. And like I said, we always buy our tickets before we go to a movie. Like when a movie come out, we just go on Fandango, buy our tickets, walk through with our phone, scan, boom, we we done. That's how we move. Cause I don't like waiting in lines, and I don't like standing behind people waiting to pay for no tickets. But I ain't got to. Anyway, we did this again. Picked our six seats. We always pick seats where we're on the end so that nobody can't sit next to me. Cause I don't like people sitting next to me, but my husband, <laughs> he know that about me and that right, baby. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I don't pick it like that. I'm just sitting on me. She real skeptical. Yeah, I'm like people sitting on me because uh, -uh. something go wrong. I want to be next to my husband. We we, we gonna be ready to go. <laughs> mm -mm. People crazy nowadays. Y'all just don't trust me. Yeah, I'm sorry. So anyway, go to the movies to see This Is Us this week. Ugh, look at me making a mess. Mm -hmm. And um, I just need to do the um, co-sign. Mm -hmm. Anyways. <laughs> Young couple was in our seats again. And I said, these are our seats. He gonna tell me, no, these are our seats. No, they're not your seats. But I'm not, I'm not finna amp my voice with you, but you finna move. You finna move. I'm a grown woman talking to you, little boy. You finna move out these seats. And it ain't gonna be no pressure, gonna be no stress. But when he saw keys, he immediately got intimidated. And then he, his girlfriend was like, I tried to tell you don't want our seats. Y'all wouldn't want y'all seats when y'all bought the tickets. Because they assigned you a seat. See, this is what I'm talking about. As a people, and he was abused with young black, young, a young black couple, but as a people, we can stop being so childish and petty and stop trying to create conflict when there shouldn't be none. You know that when you're assigned seat. That's one thing about me. If I know I'm not supposed to be sitting in, in certain seats, I'm not going to sit there. I'm not even going to do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to sit where I'm supposed to sit. It is about, that's how I see things. I just, you know, I feel like we can avoid a lot of troubles um, if we communicated better as a people and if we stop being so ignorant and people want uh. you people want you to be afraid mm -hmm. even even kids kids 
want grown folks to be afraid of them. Because he wanted me to act like, okay, he said, they're seats. They taking them. We just want to go sit somewhere else, baby. That wasn't happening. We wasn't going to make it no big deal. I mean, I said to call the manager like I did the last time. But. When that happened. We want, we want to just say this. If the couple was white, and we done seen it before. Yep. They'll get up. Get up, no questions asked. Yep. I'm so sorry. Because they know they're in the wrong seats. But if you black, they want to test you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then we get mad when people act scared of us. Or people stereotype us. But we call, we bring this on ourselves. We do we bring a lot of nonsense on ourselves a lot of times with the ignorant behavior that we as a people display. And no. I'm not saying all black people do this because some black people are nice and they move and they don't give no issues and no, no you know, ain't no drama or whatever because that's what we would have did. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna cause no problems. We ain't about that. And we, but like you said, it'd be the young people that be wanting to be on that wavelength like, I'm gonna test, I'm gonna test the waters and make you sit somewhere else. No, you're not. I'm not treating him just like a, like a child. Now here go where the, 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 the marriage of muscle and marriage come on. <laughs> As family. Mm -hmm. Parents try to instill in their kids that when you leave the house, you are a product of this family. And what you do is it comes back to the family. Mm-hmm. As a whole. Absolutely. The kid will respond, no, it doesn't. It's just me. It's my life. No. No, it's not. Mr. Uh, I'm, I'm just using a hypothetic name, Brandon. <laughs> Your name is Brandon Lewis. <laughs> that reflects back to the Lewis household. Amen. So whatever you do out there, on your own reflects back to your mother and father. And Why? if you get in trouble, you're going to be calling who? Your mother and father. Hello. And <laughs> if you're not able to call your mother and father, guess what? Those um, who are taking you away are going to call least. you mm -hmm. mother no and father. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, don't ever act like your actions going to affect your family because they do. You don't want your kids to grow up in this world and be afraid, but you do want your kids to move with some level of intelligence and being smart about the decisions they make. Don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yo. Can't be moving mm -hmm. ignorant out here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a mess, you know. And it's sad. Because it don't need to be like that. And based on Nipsey Hussle's, um, you know, Twitter posts, you know, having enemies is a blessing. I'm just going to say, he must have been going through something with somebody. And this is really horrible. And this happened in broad daylight. Nine days, people killing you in broad daylight too. And then coming up in the front of clubs and all kinds of stuff. Y'all see what happened to Kevin Durant, um, best friend, mm -hmm. Clifford Dixon. We were actually in Atlanta during the time when he was murdered. We were there during the time he was murdered. Yep. He was at a nightclub celebrating his birthday, you know. And Clifford Dixon was shot in the head multiple times outside the club. That's straight hate, y'all. Straight hate. That's horrible. It's horrible, y'all. And we just got to do better as a people. I mean, I'm so serious about that. You know, the media gonna speculate what went on until the police get all the facts, of, if they even get all the facts. And mm -hmm. they gonna make it out the worst outcome, whether it be drugs or, you know. Money. All kinds of mess. I'm gonna tell y'all something. These rappers, 
these ball players, it's sad. Not but when true. you make it out the community, you gotta be out the community. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's just sad. Because the same people you're going back there to do stuff for are not appreciative. And this shows that this is what's happening time and time again. What was the little boy name who went back to his hood and got murdered? The Tistacion guy. Getting that motorcycle. Getting that motorcycle. It shouldn't even be happening. But it is. And the same ones you went to school with. Mm -hmm. You hang around. Yep. Calling themselves a goon and all these things. I get to the paper. Mm -mm -mm. Let me tell y'all something. You want to get back to your community and do something for your hood? You find a nice organization in your hood who live, still live in your community who can take that money and do some good for you. Because. Yeah. Just have your name attached to it. That's it. Oh, okay. snap. Mm, you okay? Oh, you put a lot of season around. Right? You just shed a little on the little oyster. Yeah. Just have somebody else, you know, organize it. You got an auntie you could trust or a cousin or somebody who can, you know, set up a nice community center and activities for the kids. Have them do it. Because going back to the hood, it's starting to look more and more unsafe. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You know, we all got the same 24 hours in a day. And we'll sit there and get mad because somebody is being more productive with theirs. And I'm going to tell you something. You can have good intentions. You want to see people win. You want to see them living their best life. And you know they have a potential to do so. But if people don't want it, you can't make them want it. No. Nope. You can't. You can't make them want it. And you can't waste your time waiting on them. You got to make your moves on your own. You know, make your moves on your own and do your own thing. Oh, you want to smile? I'm going to stop at me. You need to smile. You need to get it I so don't like that too much. Yeah. It's kind of flat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And um, <clears throat> people start and why it's so good. Y'all, you put that electric in the refrigerator for a couple of days. Mm. And you pop that bottle. Mm. <laughs> no, but um, what I was saying was when people get jealous of you because you're doing something productive with your 24 hours, and if they don't want to be productive, that ain't on you. The camera had stopped, then the battery went dead. <laughs> but we back. Um, what I was talking about was Basically, excuse me, you have the same 24 hours as somebody else in a day. And yet because they choose to be productive and they choose to have big dreams and, you know, believe that they deserve to live a bigger life than what they've been accustomed to. You know, people tend to get jealous in towns where you're from and stuff like that. And I don't care how big or small the town is, there's always somebody somewhere mad about their situation but doing nothing about it and jealous of you. You know, and then people um perception of you could be totally different than how you thinking or believing. So that's nothing you have to watch out for. People get the wrong ideas, start perceiving things wrong, looking at you, oh you you look a certain way, oh you act a certain way, and they feel threatened by that stuff and it has nothing to do with you. Yeah. That's your own negative beliefs about yourself. Because you feel confident about yourself, another person will, uh take it as you being arrogant. Right. And that's not even or you be think. jealous of you because you look a certain way, jealous of you and insecure being around you because you carry yourself a certain way or because you have a level of success that they haven't yet achieved. So what? You have the same 24 hours a day as anybody else. If you choose to work on somebody's job and that's all you ever want to do, nothing wrong with that. That's the life you've chosen for yourself. And if you're happy with it, then you're living a better life than people who are rich because you're happy doing what you do. So there's nothing wrong with any of this. But people need to stop being so insecure and stop being jealous of other people. 
And, and, and especially in the black community, we definitely stop that BS, man. Be happy for other people. When somebody tell me something good going on in their life, I celebrate them. I'm happy for them. I'm genuinely happy for you. Because I know that whatever you're doing, I can do and then some if I wanted to. I know I have it within me to accomplish the goals that I set out to accomplish. Mm -hmm. And everybody dreams don't look the same. But we, we live in a world with too many jealous people are just like, man, you know, causing all these deaths and this nonsense violence. You didn't kill this man because you were protecting your children. You didn't kill this man because he put a gun on you. You just went rolled by somebody, you know, establishment mm -hmm. that they put in the community for you. And, 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 and shot them. For what? For what? You guys, I have four brothers. I have a husband. I have cousins. I have uncles. And I would hate to hear that somebody did something like this to them, you know? I have friends. People I care about. I would never want to hear that somebody just rolled by and shot my husband or shot my brother or shot my friend or shot my cousin or uncle or anybody. Just because. And we don't even know what the beef is about. And I bet it's some nonsense. I bet it's some nonsense. Because any any ill will or um, dispute you have with somebody can be corrected. It can be corrected. If they ain't molested or hurt your kids or did no crazy stuff while you went ballistic or you just lost your mind all of a sudden... Man, I, 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 I have no sympathy for you. I cried, y'all, because it, it, it really bothered me. It bothered me so much I had to call one of my brothers in, you know, because he's inside the restaurant getting the, um, you know, the oysters. And I was looking on the um, YouTube, just going down the timeline, you know, seeing what was in, you know, the recommendations, of course. And here it was, Hot 97 had posted, you know, rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. I'm like, huh, rest in peace? Arrest in heaven. I'm seeing all these posts and these hashtags. I start going on Instagram, seeing them everywhere. Facebook, seeing them everywhere. I'm like, what is going on? Like, this can't be real. Mm -hmm. But this is the reality of the world we live in today. Where we hate ourselves and we are so jealous and envious of other people. You know, and some of the people that you're jealous of, you don't even know how much they admire you and respect you and think that you're a nice person, that you're a beautiful person, that you're a good person. You know, you just don't know. But yet, yeah, you, you, you're putting all these bad concepts in your mind about people. Being jealous, being a hater. Come on, get it together. I'm for real, man. That thing bothered me. It's still bothering me. You know, I, I, can only, I, I can't even imagine what Lauren London is going through. I can't. I don't want to imagine it. I don't want to even experience it. Yeah. Ever. That's crazy. You know? Yeah, it's, 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 oh. you, you just talked to somebody. Mm. That's You know, I know two incidences. One with my nephew and one with my best friend. He was like a brother and he was going to be my best man in my wedding. And then you get the call the day before the wedding and I talked to him the day before mm -hmm. and then you get a call the day before and he gone. Yeah, the day before the wedding we get a call that uh, you know um, our friend Brandon had died and he was going to be the best man in our wedding. And then his nephew was in our wedding and you know, he moved to Texas to be with his father. You know, when boys start to become a teenager, they need their dad. So, you know, you move away to be close to your dad to get that upbringing from your father, you know, a man's perspective. And um, somebody shot him in the head, 17 years old. All over a senseless altercation. They didn't even have nothing to do with him, but because he was with his cousin, you know? It, 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 it's hurtful. It really is. It's hurtful. And I think, you know, I think that's why Keys, um, he loved Kodak Black so much because Kodak Black do put you in the mind of Key's nephew. He do, but but Key's nephew was much cuter. <laughs> he was handsome. Um, he was definitely um, more handsome than Kodak Black in my opinion. <laughs> but I think that's why um, Keys, um, you know, loved Kodak Black so much and he um, respects the music and we was even gonna think about going to Kodak Black concert. 
<laughs> but we know it's gonna be a different type of crowd and uh, you know a young jitty boy so who's gonna be in the balcony or whatever vibes and music <laughs> well, we know, we're not going to that no we're not going to it though but if, we, if he ever you know go to Atlanta again of course we would definitely go when we move there because he's do like all that black music <laughs> That's what he always says, my little nephew. He always say that, you know? And sometimes, you know, that's how you keep somebody's memory alive too, when they put you in the mind of, of a celebrity or something like that, you know? You know, cause that's hard, you know? It, it's hard losing a nephew, losing any family member, but it's even harder on the parent, you know? You can never imagine what they're going through. You can never imagine what a spouse is going through. You know, losing a loved one to some senseless violence. It'd it be one thing we old and gray and just go to sleep and you pass away. Yeah. You, you you don't feel you know you hurt because you still gonna miss them, but it's a different. They didn't suffer. You know, when you know somebody suffered or somebody was hurt like that. You know, like when I heard about Clifford, you know, Clifford Dixon shot in the head multiple times. I'm like, how mm -hmm. much hate can you have in your mind and your just in your spirit yeah. like that to hurt somebody like that? It's it's. Mm -hmm. You know, I used to be against Keys when he said, oh, we need to carry guns. I really did. But now, mm-mm. Yep. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Run up on me, you're going to get straight shot, straight up. I ain't got no time for it. I ain't tussling with you. I ain't fighting with you. Mm-mm. It, it's just unfortunate. It's, it's unfortunate. It's got to be like this, man. It's sad. Days, uh -huh. Yeah, we living in these type of days where you just got to you gotta protect yourself and you just really can't take a chance on running around here, you know, Naked, no gun, no nothing. Pretty much, that's how you gotta put it. Yeah, run around here naked. No, can't do it. I just should get my oysters. I'm just putting them. Oh, just putting them over there. Yeah. All of them mess. Yeah, it, it, that, that thing bothered me. I, I, I had to shed a few tears because you know I couldn't even hold them back. I couldn't hold them back because I'm thinking about all the people we lost and I'm thinking <coughs> about you know Nipsey Hussle, his family. You know, this man was nominated for a Grammy. This man spoke nothing but positivity in his music. And somebody just killed him like that. Mm. And I don't care if somebody said it was more to the story than that. It might be more to the story than that. But it still, it, it should result to that kind of violence. It should result to um, gun gunfights and shooting people. Not even a gunfight. He just went up there and murdered somebody. Did a drive-by on somebody's store. Come on, man. Hey, it was premeditated. You definitely, that. definitely. Uh, that joke was gonna be up the other day. You going up there? Mm. That's where he gonna be. Somebody gave him information. Yeah, he here right now. Mm -hmm. Hey, they were he, he outside talking to somebody. Lo and behold, you the person he out there talking to, and you just passing by saying what's up, and you got it too. Ooh. And you, you, you want to need you just everyday Joe Blow average person. Don't you probably just going there to shop at the store and they got hit. Who knows? But anytime somebody doing the drive by, they trying to hit one person. They don't care who they hit, whoever else get hit too. If you out there, you like to get hit too. Is what it is. But it's sad, and it's not right, y'all. It's not right. It's not right. Mm. You know, that's why me and Keys, we don't. We're very selective about where we go. And I'm not big on telling everybody where I'm at. I don't, I'm not big on that social media stuff, you know. Like, if I go to a concert, y'all say I'm at a concert, that's going to be a lot of people. You can find me in that crowd, then you good. But just every day checking in on Facebook and all that kind of stuff, telling you where I'm at, adding my location on every post, I ain't doing that. I ain't had no I ain't location. doing that. I ain't doing You'll that. You'll see when I post a picture. <laughs> and see when I put it out. I ain't yeah, but a lot of times, but a lot of times I add a location when I'm not there anymore. Yeah, of course. When we're already gone, yeah, I add a location a lot of times on all those posts like that. You know, I do that. Yeah. But just to be adding, it's like you, you got to hit up a coincidence. Because oh. I knew a dude. He um he was a um he was a big time dope dealer, and um he seemed like a very nice guy. He always in his community, and um you know he was always putting on Facebook where he was. But him and his old lady went. They was posting. He lived in a nice home, you know. People knew he had money because he walked around looking like money. Tatted all the way up. He was a high yellow dude, tatted all the way up, looking like money. Everybody curious. Even even when he would walk around in the stores, the white people looking too like, hey, who was that? You know. 
just because he's so flashy. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, um, some boys kidnapped him, shoved him in the trunk, drove him all the way out in the woods, stripped him out of his clothes, and shot him in his head. Because he ain't going to talk and tell you what nothing at. Yep, where the money at, nothing at. Mm -mm. And that's what that was. Yeah. Okay. We just gonna bless my family and they Yep, and he went on up out of here. And that's basically what happened. It's sad though. When you um living in a certain environment or you uh, you know, talking about a certain lifestyle and your music and you know, you trying to give back to the community that you was you know, that raised you and the people don't even really love you like that. Ooh. That fake love be the worst, don't it? Mm. Oof, that fake love, man. I'm good. I'm good. I can't go back to the community doing nothing. I'm sorry, I can't. Can't. I don't go back there now. I ain't going back there later. Doing that, come out building that and creating that. No, I have somebody else do it if I want to do something. If I feel there's a need for something. No, nah, but I ain't gonna be doing it. No, because people don't people don't respect it or appreciate it. Instead, they plotting on how they can take you out. Yeah. Jealous. And it's unfortunate that it has to be that way, but it's gotta be that way. At this point in your life, you gotta think safety. Damn what everybody gonna think about you. Oh, you don't never come back to the community. Well, I don't care. My community is where I'm living at now. Next, please. Yep. Yeah. Ain't got time. Ain't got time. See you need all the crackers, baby. <laughs> Alright, the whole three to be. <laughs> but y'all, we don't want to ramble on. But that really, that really um touched my heart. It really broke my heart, you know. Mm. Made me sad today. It really did. I hugged my husband so tight, you know. And um. Can't be taking life for granted. Mm 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 mm. But you know, when Nipsey Hussle went out on top, you know, he was nominated for a Grammy. He um he had a really good album. He had a to me he had the best album. Inspirational, nothing but hits, nothing but positive. Y'all, his mixtapes the right, same way. Right back to what Master P said: give people their flowers while they're here. While they're here, that's right. Why Man, gone. Another person gone. Yeah. Gonna be getting flowers while he gone. It's hurtful, man. It's hurtful. But nobody know what what day or what hour. You know, you're gonna be gone, and that's why you gotta live your you gotta live your truth. Mm -mm. And be careful out here. Be careful out here. Move strategically. Move smart. Don't be no idiot. Mm -mm. Don't be no idiot. You know, don't be out here trying to live this stuff you hear in these lyrics. These rappers don't live like that no more. A lot of them have, you know, amassed enough wealth where they're living in better neighborhoods. They're um, experiencing different type of lifestyles. Hear the music, understand the message. When I listen to Meat Mill, for example, and I bring him up because I just love his album Champions. I loved uh, Wins and Losses. That was one of my favorite. But um, I just like the fact that he's so motivated. He's telling you his story to let you know that this is where I come from. But I didn't have to stay there and I chose not to stay there. And you don't have to stay there either. He's not glorifying seeing bodies on the ground, but he's telling you that causes trauma. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to get away from that, then something is wrong with you. You know, if you don't want to do better for yourself, you don't want to elevate to a new level. You know what I'm saying? Like Jay-Z said, I ain't doing all this to stay the same. <laughs> Come, Come on, on, I'm not. Come on, not. I got, you got kids. Yeah, you're not doing all this to stay the same at all. So I totally understood where he was coming from when he um, made that statement. And if more of us thought like that, you know, <laughs> And was celebrating each other more and was happier for each other, we will see less violence. And for a person that say, I'ma never change, they foolish. They foolish and they lying. And they lying. Cause you ain't getting all that money and you gonna stay the same. You ain't gonna eat the same place you ate when you was broke. You ain't gonna live in the same place you lived when you was broke. Mm -mm. Why are you trying to gain wealth? Think about it. <clears throat> Why do we wanna gain wealth? We want to be able to take care of our family in the best conditions and we want to be able to help some people, I hope. I know that's what we want to do. We want to be able to live in the best community, 
experience the best life possible out there and be able to help some people that deserve it. Not necessarily all family members, people that we don't even know, but trying. Them the people I want to reach and I want to teach and help. This is why I'm doing this. I'm not doing this to stay the same, wear the same clothes, go to the same um, nail salon I went for. No, I'm probably going to find a, a, a nail tech that do better designs, take care of my natural nails better. You know what I'm saying? When you gain money, you also want better for yourself. Yeah. What put you going to do with all that money? Put it in the ground? Put somebody else on. That's yeah. a nail tech that ain't got their own establishment. Yeah, something like working that. working in somebody else's business. Yeah. Looking to get out of there. Or take that money and create you more money. Residual income, other streams of income. Help somebody else open up a business who probably don't have the money, can't get a loan. But you can be a private investor in that. You know, these are the things we talking about over here. You know what I'm saying? These are the kind of conversations me and my husband have on a daily basis. Because that's why I'm always reading the self-help and inspirational books, you guys. Because I feel like it's important that you be very mindful of what you, you feed your mind. Because what you feed your mind comes out in your behavior. And it's a lot of lost souls out there. And this is why Nipsey Hustle is gone because of lost, bipolar, schizophrenic people who aren't getting the help they need and jealous, you know, just stupid envious. stuff. Envious. Envious, yeah, just it's sad. I can't say it enough. I'm like blown away by this news. I'm blown away. Man, I hug my husband, I hug him tight. I don't take for granted that he's here. I thank God that he's here. I thank God that he don't hang with a lot of dudes. He don't move with a lot of people. We move together as a team, y'all. We move as a unit. That's why muscle and marriage is so, um, it's so important. I wish more people knew about our channel because we we trying to we trying to promote black love, but more importantly, love in general. You know, togetherness. I think it's so important to be together. You know what I'm saying? And that's why we try and do business together so that we can work together, be together on every front. I, I ain't one of them wives, but I don't want to see you every day. No, I want to see my husband every day. I want to know you okay. <laughs> you know what I think Moot Balls is about? Because people are so separate, but Moot Balls for us as a uh, urban uh, unit or people, is a, is about bringing people together. Yep. We ain't seen so many people together mm -hmm. uh, at one point, even bringing families back to the table together, yep. eating with one another. One eat one because up. everybody was eating in separate rooms or eating in front of the TV and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Now look what Moot Bong is doing, bringing people together and eating and, and, and conversating. It's bringing families talking, together again yeah. now, yeah. And that, that's what everything should be about is bringing people together and mm -hmm. um, making sure people stand together. That's right. Man, we got some work to do. As a people, yes we do. Yes we do. We're not doing enough. You know, we're not doing enough. Because this just lets me know that we, this, this Nipsey Hustle thing really bothers me. Come on, within the last, uh, from from January to right now, March, and, and I guess what, is it 12 o'clock yet? I don't know. Man, not, nope, not yet. even not even 12 o'clock yet, so it's still 31st. Mm -hmm. It's so, not even 12 o'clock in California, but it's like almost, it's 842 there. Yeah, so it's still the 31st, so January to March right now. It ain't even April yet. Yeah. And we done lost a whole bunch of people. Yeah, sad. Yeah, ain't even got good yet. Nope. Ain't even got started. But we but we but we done got but we done got started though. With dumb with the dumb stuff. With the dumb stuff. 2019. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Mm, 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 mm. It's sad, y'all. Really sad. I pray for his family. I pray for Lauren London. I pray that, you know, they find some kind of comfort. I mean, you know, it's hard. It's hard. Mm -hmm. Double M's, we ain't going to hold you up. No. You like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please do. Please. Everybody going to be talking about it. Go on to their channel, show them some love, mm -hmm. show them some support. 
Don't forget to comment, holla at your boy, holla at your girl. Yeah. You know what to do. That bell right there. Hit that notification bell. So you can be notified of all the content, all the videos that we have in store for you. If you're a new subscriber, love you. Welcome to the Double M Kingdom. We love you guys. So we'll see yes. you in our next video. And we out. Bye.